Now to the ongoing effort to curb auto theft. Today, Toronto police showed off a haul of more than 1,000 vehicles they recovered from car thieves, laying more than 500 charges in the process. But as high as that is, figures show it's only a dent in surging thefts that line the pockets of organized criminals. CTV John Woodward joins us from Toronto Police College. John. Nathan, we saw Audis, Jaguars, Range Rovers, mostly high-end cars that would fetch high prices on the black market, stolen in Toronto at a rate of more than 32 a day. Carmen Gagliardi's $91,000 Ram truck was only four days old when thieves spied it in his driveway. His surveillance video shows within about 30 seconds they're inside. And you see uh, the way they just came up the driveway, it's like they knew what they were doing. Maybe because they've had a lot of practice. Vehicle thefts in Toronto continue to surge. 9,747 cars were stolen so far this year. That's more than double the same period in 2019. Some stolen with high-tech equipment, others taken by force in carjackings. The level of violence being used in the commission of these crimes represents a new and evolving threat to public safety. This level of threat and crime is unacceptable to me as the chief of police. One reason Toronto police launched Project Stallion last year. Today, officers showed off the haul of more than a thousand vehicles recovered worth $60 million, an operation that resulted in almost 550 charges against 230 people. We're a great number that were found uh, that were being shipped to Montreal, Port Montreal. Uh, there were a number that were seized here locally. Others in the process of removing the vehicle identification number, meaning they could disappear into the local market. A major dent in car thefts, but officers realistic that tackling this level of organized crime is not easy. For the most part, I, I would say it's the lower end uh, of, of the spectrum. Uh, it's very difficult to get to the, uh, the head of the snake. As for Gagliardi, thieves got in but didn't actually take his truck. His secret, an immobilizer. Honestly, that $2,000, I got to admit, was the best money I spent. We went with him to the dealership where they repaired minor damage. And as for whether he'd recommend an immobilizer to others... 100%. Because unlike thousands, he still has his truck. So how to get to the head of the snake, as Superintendent Taverner put it. The province announced last week that they've started a joint task force on carjacking. Uh, and they say they're working with other law enforcement agencies as long as border guards. But they also say there's no substitute for prevention, including leaving your car inside rather than on the driveway if you can, parking in lit areas. And Gagliardi has nothing but good to say about the immobilizer that stopped his truck from joining those statistics. Reporting a lot live from the Toronto Police College, I'm John Woodward.